time, so <laughs> <laughs> just do it that way. Uh, I like to think that about myself that I'm a people pleaser, but I'm uh, really bad at sex. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm living a life full of contradictions. This is this is one of them. Another one is that uh, I really like nice cars. Uh, I can afford a nice car and I can buy one if I wanna, but I prefer to drive a really shitty car. <laughs> <laughs> I really like nice girls, but I do not like the girls who like the guys for their really nice cars. So at the moment I'm trying to wait for that perfect girl who's preferring a guy who has a 2002 red Volvo. <laughs> <laughs> honestly, guys, honestly. I went to the dentist and I had a really awkward, painful and uh, racist experience. <laughs> Yes, Sarma, this will be borderline racist again. But not that much. <laughs> Listen. Listen, it's about my dental hygiene. It's not about you guys, yeah? So the doctor was German. This is not relevant. So, <laughs> not relevant at all. So, he started to examine my teeth and he, 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 he found a disaster over there. This one is yellow. This one is brown and wobbling for some reason. This one is black. So what is the black gonna do? It's gonna hurt you pretty soon unless you change in the subject, so, right? So she, he ended up pulling out all the teeth and replacing them with white teeth. And now my mouth is called uh, the island of white. <laughs> you know that uh, if you leave a space between two white teeth, one of them is gonna start migrating towards the other. <laughs> That's the Romanian teeth. <laughs> That's the Romanian teeth going towards the British teeth. <laughs> Who is somehow crooked, but is hanging there and it's offering you solitude and stability. And you have to go towards that place. <laughs> Do you also have the, 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 the idea that Ukraine is like an ex-girlfriend who used to date a really bad and jealous guy and now is trying, she's trying to rebuild her life and there's like plenty of pretenders over there. Did you see that? There's like the German pretender who's like, uh, hi Ukraine, I really want to suck your grains and <laughs> but at the moment I'm sucking the Russian uh, gas pipe and I cannot <laughs> be thrown into a relationship with you. There's the French guy who's sending Ukraine deck pics from, uh, his, carrier, <laughs> from his carrier plane. You look at my big uh, carrier plane, would you like to? But Ukraine says no. And there's the American who's like, he likes Ukraine but not that much. He actually likes Ukraine because at some point the Russian who used to date Ukraine stole some girlfriends from the American and now he remembers about it and he's trying to take the revenge on the Russian. And the Russian is really jealous, you saw that? He's really jealous because he, he used to have a, a past with Ukraine. They, they had a nuclear meltdown together. <laughs> He got it. <laughs> they had something together, right? And uh, Ukraine knows all the Russians' uh, secrets. He knows all about the, the short nuclear uh, response in uh, bed. <laughs> and he knows all the little secrets. Uh, one of the few countries who would really like Ukraine to go into the European Union, they are actually Romania and Bulgaria, because for once we will not be the poorest and most corrupt country. <laughs> in the world. So please, Ukraine, do that. So let's accept them. I was uh, George for you, and I think that was my five minutes. Thank you so much. Yeah!